Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I decoupage cans with napkins. You're going to use um, chalk paint. I use chalk paints. You don't have to use chalk paints, but they give you good coverage even with uh, one coat usually. So I'm using chalk paints. I like them. You can use regular acrylic paints if you want and um, napkins of your choice of your style. If you have a blue napkin like that, you know, it's good to have a blue background on the can, white for white, it just works out well. And then even if you have a small tear or anything, it usually blends right in if you do something like that. So you're ready to get started. You've got some cleaned cans of whatever, um, you know, you're using them from, whether it's, you know, a canned pineapple or a canned pumpkin or canned beans, you want to wash them out and then paint them. And so I've given two of the cans a first coat. I'll just show you how easily it goes on here. So you just paint it on just like that and go around the entire can and then let them dry and we'll go to the next step then after that. But just paint them just like that. That's all you have to do. So choose your napkin and I'm going to choose this lovely napkin and I'm going to do one pan like two panels on one half of the napkin. Okay, so now you have to separate the layers of the napkin. If you have a three ply napkin, it means you'll take off two layers, plain white layers. And if you have a two ply napkin, you're going to take off one plain layer. So you do that until you get down to your first layer and it'll be very thin and that's what you want because it allows you to put the decoupage medium on the top of the napkin without having to put it on the can first. I find this works better for me. Um, sometimes you could lay them, you could put the decoupage medium on, put it on and put saran wrap and pull it tight, but this works better on cans. I have good luck with it and so I do it. It ends up that they look like they're hand painted, they don't have wrinkles, they're beautiful. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to take my napkin and line it up 
um, make sure you know I'm going to start where the uh, where the joint is and the where the can comes together and that's where I'll start I want to make sure like my cat is not on that joint and that I have it there's going to be an excess on the top and the bottom and that's not going to be okay because we're going to sand it off later um, but we want it to position it the way we want it make sure that it's straight it's very easy for it to like slip down a little ways and then when you get around it's going to be really noticeable that it's crooked so that's why I really like to fit it on there so that it's exactly where I want it and I'm just doing that with on the dry can okay and you see how it's uneven there? See, okay, so I've just got to keep, I just play with it a little bit until I have it exactly where I want it. And then we're going to start putting the decoupage medium right onto the napkin, which will adhere it to the can. And what I do is I kind of let it drape down a little bit. You know, you might want to wear like a nitrile glove on your hand or even a Ziploc bag on one hand because you cannot touch, the tricky part is, the wet decoupage as you move along. If you do that, it's gonna come off in your hand and you're gonna ruin your project. So either put your hand in a plastic baggie, use a nitrile glove, still try not to just touch the project. Try to keep your fingers, you know, around the top or the bottom of the can or actually even inside the can. Stick your whole hand is what I do inside the can when I get to a certain point. So I've got my starting point here and I'm just going to brush outward I have enough of the decoupage medium now I have these products are listed I use a special napkin medium and the products are listed in the video description so you can get the same decoupage medium that I use and I think you'll be very happy with it <music> in this you'll understand what kind of brushes you like to use and you'll understand you know you don't need a heavy touch on this you'll you'll get to know exactly what you need to do to smooth out a wrinkle or to feather your medium out there using a lot of medium is going to help your brush glide and help everything in here I know it you might think it's going to disintegrate your napkin well you should see a wet napkin transfer it's crazy no, it won't. The worst thing is going to be is to use too little. You are then going to surely rip your napkin. Medium lets your brush, your brush flow. It's not going to disintegrate your napkin. Don't rub, rub in one direction. Okay, don't go like back and forth, back and forth, because that, that will tend to rip your napkin. And just find your sweet spot with your pressure on your brush and you will just get to know it and don't stress if you think like oh my gosh just go through with the project you'll be very surprised if you remember my first night and it's still there because I don't delete videos you'll see I was very frustrated now several weeks later right I'm can't stop and I have a total napkin addiction that I have to get a sponsor for and I have to pick um, Lisa D up to go to the meetings as well so yeah just um, stay with it, you know, don't worry about it, just keep going, don't just like 
give up and despair, go, oh, even if you think you have like a little tear, try to work through it. You know, a lot of times you can fix it up with a little paint depending on what your napkin looks like. And other times you can actually almost smooth it like out, like, like I mean, bring it back, if you, if you know what I mean, like with the brush. So just don't give up on it, you know, unless I mean like you tore the entire napkin off, but stay with it. Now, like this is the part that I'm saying, like you've got to keep your hands away from the wet area because you'll ruin your project, totally ruin your project. And that's what I was trying to find out how I was going to do this. And I ended up, I believe I stuck my hand in there after a while. But yeah, I mean, the napkins are pretty forgiving and you can, even if you're careful, pick them up a little bit when they're wet, if you have to reposition something, but just, you know, go make sure you get all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. We're going to sand the rest of it down. But if you do it the right way, it's going to go right on that rim and you'll see it'll look like it's hand painted right to the rim. It, they come out beautiful. And I mean, I've used fabric before and somebody will say, well, why napkins? They're so delicate like I did the first night. They give you such a different look because they actually almost melt into your project. You might want, as might as well say, and it looks so much like you hand painted it. It's crazy. It really is. Um, they give a beautiful look, a beautiful appearance. And cans are just one thing that, yeah, you can save them from going into a landfill, but you can also save yourself money because they can hold so many things, especially if you're into arts and crafts, they can hold brushes, but you could even dress them up really nice. And I've seen people make trays for them. So you could put them on your vanity. I was trying to do that, but I couldn't do it at that point to try to balance it on that. So I was like, no, no, no. But that is something you can do, balance it on a bottle like that. Anyway, um, yeah, you, I've seen them make like van like three, and then on a tray, they, they decoupage a napkin. Some of them do the second layer of the napkin if it comes through, if the pattern comes through good, because it looks like it's whitewashed kind of. And you could have one for makeup brushes and your combs and brushes, even, you know, your your hair uh, straighteners or curling irons. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do and make them your own, personalize them any way you like. And so it's really a great, great thing. Now I'm getting the baggie, you see, to hold the can. That's what I went off to do there. Just keep going on. I'm on the home stretch here, right? I'm at my napkin is meeting and I just have to get it finished. Okay, so I'm just going to keep brushing on and go right up to see how I go right up to the edge. Just go right up to the edge. Don't worry about it. When it's dry, we're going to sand it off. Now, I'm going to take that baggie, and you could use saran wrap too, and I am going to smooth. That's my husband being funny. Smooth, smooth the wrinkles out with the saran wrap here. Saran wrap or the baggie. You can even take a piece of saran wrap, put it around the can and pull it real tight. But this works really nice. You see how I'm just, smooth, just smoothing it out. Okay. And with that uh, extra decoupage, it will let that, that plastic wrap or baggie slide across that decoupage and be very... Um, now I'm asking for a piece of saran wrap. Okay, and I'm going to use that and just lay it across and then spread it out with my, you know, spread, just go over the design with my fingers one direction. You can also pull it tight around, but I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, and then lift it up carefully when you lift it up. Just make sure it's not pulling up your napkin.
and it just lets your hand glide on there. And you can also rub it. Um, I was going. Back, and I'm just folding down the edges. You can also rub it with a ball of saran wrap, like dab at it, if you have any more wrinkles or things. Now I'm. I think I was pretty happy with it at that point. And so I'm just making sure that my edge, you see my edge up there, I want that all covered. Do you see how beautiful it comes out? Look at it. And it's still, you know, it still has a heavy coat of that uh, decoupage on it. You know, it's and it's it's very relaxing for me to do. So just keep working your way around. If there's any place that you need to get that decoupage medium, get it on there. It's also a sealer, and you also save yourself some time because you know that. The top of it is coated really well instead of putting it on the bottom and then going over the top I did go over the top with Mod Podge a gloss just to seal them really nice but you'll see when this is dry so okay I am just gonna keep doing this and then we'll have I'll go on to the other ones and then I'll show you the finished product but this is really really easy and you should try it because the the ridges in the cans they just like grab onto your napkin and help it not to wrinkle so much kind of I think uh, it just is just help it turns out to be a beautiful thing okay we'll let it dry there and we'll come back to that <laughs> taking my roller saran wrap, I'm just making sure my edge is good and adhered and, and, and I'm going to put the Mod Podge on any parts that are not fully saturated or, or tacked on. They're really good and you just go around and around and make sure that is. Then we're going to let it dry and we'll come back to that. So I'll just put any extra medium on the top just to make sure it's really good and sealed because we are going to sand the excess. It's okay that if it folds in, you're not going to want to, you know, adhere it down in the um, inside of the can. You're just going to just let it fold down in there. And I'll show you how we take Okay, so the can is dry now. And what we're going to do is just take an emery board and I buy these. I'll put a link. And just packs of 10 on Amazon. Or you could use a sanding sponge, but you go in a downward direction. Okay? You just go down. Don't go up and down. Make sure your can is dry. See how nicely that's coming off? Okay, and you do the same to the top. A little awkward going just because the angle is weird but it works the same way
You see how nice that, like it hears, it looks like it's kind of painted. It, it melds in, that's when you use a napkin, to whatever you're using and really um, turns out nice. Just look how beautifully it goes around the rim, like as if, you know, it reminds me of something, my sister had a mural and she went on the molding and, and, and because it didn't go on there and she made that and just goes on just so beautifully like someone painted it, right? Look at that, see? And then, um, yeah, then you can just, and uh, on the bottom rim, see, it just covers it all. And then it's like this. So you could put your paint brushes in there, you can put all kinds of supplies, brushes, even makeup brushes on your vanity, all kinds of things you can use these for. And you're upcycling and it's not going in a landfill and, you know, you probably have an abundance of them. So this turned out really nice, I think, right? So this one we put right there. Okay, little cat, it's got flowers. Very cute. And then this one. Okay, here's another can I just did. And I've been digging about it crazy. I'm just going to sand over here now and do the same type of thing. And so, I mean, you don't need to see this whole thing. It's going to drive you crazy probably. So I'm going to fast forward through this and we'll get to the... <laughs> quarter the half excuse me the half of the napkin cut that out tear off my layers and get it all prepared ready to go and I kind of dry fit my napkin and then when I get it in the right spot I do the same thing we did before go with feathering strokes with enough medium and feather it out starting in the middle and I go to the ends and then I just continue going back further and back further until I'm all the way around the can and that's how I do the cans <laughs>
let it dry there. Okay, and we'll visit that in just a few minutes. I mean, well, when it's dry. So that's how you do it. And I show these cans at the end of my latest uh, Dollar Tree haul, so you could check them out there as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.